So what's up guys, Mr. Very, aka Adrenus here, and today I am going to be doing the Life of Adrenus, uh, number 20, nah, er, actually, I believe this may be number 30, um, and I'm going to be showing a Dragon slash Dragon Lord spawn in Garoma, which is a pretty good spawn for, uh, a decent variety of levels. I think paladins and uh, mages of 80 plus would do pretty well here. It's not too hard to get into and it is certainly worth the walk. Now where I stopped in my last video when I went up is the uh, entrance or to this area and I'm gonna go ahead and show the variety of creatures and it's mostly dragon lords, dragons, there's some stone golems, some fire devils and uh, some fire elementals, but if you can hunt dragon lords and dragons, I have full faith that you can handle a couple fire elementals and, uh, you know, it really won't make too much of a difference in your profit margin in the end. So this is definitely not a good area for people of my level to hunt. Um, but I wanted to show it anyway because if if I had known that such a great area existed when Garoma was introduced, at least I think this area has been here since Garoma was introduced, I would have definitely brought my paladin here. So to the east you find uh, some stone golems, some and dragons. The dragon lords are in the large cave to the south that you can see on my map. So I'm going to explore the entirety of this area and see what you guys think of it as a hunting spot. I, I would certainly suggest it to a variety of levels of paladins. Uh, I mean, even a 70 paladin with a good distance who had access would do very well here. And I didn't mean to use that flam. Like I said, I'm still adjusting to my hockeys at the moment. I just switched them. And with any loot luck, uh, I'll end up getting something out of the Dragon Lords here. And I'll show the, in the entirety of this room. This is going to be the main room that you would hunt. And like I said, there is several stone golems and fire devils and fire elementals, but they're not going to be an obstacle for those of you who can hunt dragons and dragon lords. So, just checking loot. Nothing too extravagant yet. Oh, that was a terrible avalanche. <laughs> so, going to the north here. And the dragon lords uh, within here will be appearing soon. And here's one of them. 
I don't remember how many are in this area. I know it's predominantly a dragon area, but there are some dragon lords. Oh, god damn it, I really need to adjust my new hotkeys. And the Fire Devils drop small pitchforks, which are really nice. They are uh, very light, they drop them very frequently, and they're worth 70 gold apiece. So you definitely want to pick those up if you're going to be hunting here. And I'm hoping there's another Dragon Lord here. I hope this isn't only a single DL spawn. I thought there was more than one, but uh, there may just be one. But even so, for those of you who are looking for a Dragon spawn, you can see uh, the bulk of Dragons here. Y and are tired of trying to go to like Anchorman Dragons or whatever, only to find it constantly camped. This is the spawn for you. Yeah, that was bad. I really need to fucking... And that's pretty much it for this side. So I'm going to go ahead and show the, uh, the other side of the cave. And then I will end this commentary there. Once again, Fire Elementals, pretty big cakewalks, and also, if you're low enough level to do the Fire Elemental task, this is certainly not a bad area to do that. You can see uh, there's several Fire Elementals, and you're still going to be making money because of the dragons. It's looking like I'm pulling no loot so far. Oh, here's another one of the Dragon Lords. I knew there was more than one here. And... No real loot yet, but hey. And once you clear out, I think this is the spot that harbors the most dragon lords. And once you clear out the uh, cave to the east and you want to give it some time to spawn, you can always come down here and take out all these guys. And yes, this is the spot with the much more dragon lords. You can see there's three on screen right now. And you could see where they originally spawned, so it's not like you have to worry about getting all these on you at once. I just do it so that I can uh, use my avalanches to take them out quickly. Oops. Wrong one. But we'll drop an E-Wave to take them both out quickly. And still no loot. So, that's about the entirety of this uh, Dragon slash Dragon Lord spawn. And you can see it's definitely pretty, uh, pretty decent. There's like a total of five DLs, and there's a shitload more dragons. So, I would definitely suggest hunting here. Um for, like I said, mid-level paladins, druids, and sorcerers. So, since I've shown the areas I would like to, um, I'm going to end this commentary once I get back to the stairs. And, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a comment. Uh, with some feedback. I love feedback. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and 
subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I produce, as there will be much more to come. Once again, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and, uh, oops, hee hee hee, didn't flip around. And I will see you in the next video.